What's good everybody? Welcome back to Cadillac Cartoons and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a reflection tutorial in Procreate. Now what you guys see here is a picture of Penny Proud. Good morning fam! That reflection in the mirror is what I'm going to show you guys how to do in Procreate. But in case you guys may or may not heard, the Proud family Louder and Prouder has just released on Disney Plus and I've been pretty into the series since it came out. So expect to see some Proud family art here on my channel. Like today, we got Penny Proud, La Cienega's on her way, Sugar Mom is on her way, and plenty more coming soon. But with that being said, let's get to this reflection tutorial. So here are all the layers that I have. I use six layers for Penny Proud. I have her line work, and then her clipping mask layer down here, and then all the layers in between, the colors, the shades, the highlights, and the shine in her hair. And then above the line, the shine of her eyes. I misspoke, I meant to say seven. And then above this one, I have the mirror frame, the actual mirror itself, the blue part, the shades for the mirror, and then the line work for the mirror. So the layer that we'll be working with will be this one, because that's pretty much the mirror itself. So that's the one we'll be needing for this tutorial. So what I'm gonna do first, to show you guys how to add that in there, I'm gonna delete this layer. And then I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add it again, and I'm gonna name it mirror. So how to add that on there, I'm gonna go to the line work layer, and then I'm gonna attempt to select this button instead it does that. So I gotta do this the hard way. So now that that's selected, I'm gonna go to the mirror layer, and then I'm gonna select like a light blue color. And then I'm gonna take my coloring tool, and then just scribble it in. Now of course it doesn't have to be this kind of blue or this shade of blue, it just has to be a blue. So I'm gonna deselect it, because we already have it now. Now it's all on its own layer. So I'm gonna change the brightness of it, I'm gonna make it a little bit brighter. And so that's, I like the way that looks. So we're gonna keep it like that. So the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna make this into a clipping mask layer. So we're gonna add a layer on top of it and I'm gonna name it Lines. Because when you're looking at a mirror, there's light shining upon the mirror. And then there's, and usually the way I draw mirrors is like lines going like this way, that way, in, in a diagonal type manner. So on that layer, I'm gonna hit clipping mask. So that way I can draw only inside of that blue shape that we just colored in. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to click the white, then I'm going to go back to the same coloring tool, and then I'm just going to add straight white lines. I'm going to make them, I'm going to make them different sizes, you know, for it to stand out. And so that's looking good. So now for, and now on that layer, I'm going to double tap it. And then I'm going to reduce the opacity of it so that way it's not a solid white. And so that's a decent looking mirror. So we can keep it like that. So now what I'm going to do now is to put Penny Proud inside of the mirror. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to scroll to the bottom. I'm going to go to the background color layer and I'm going to deselect it. Because what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to save this entire image. And then import it back inside. So the way to do that is to go to the wrench tool up here in the top corner, hit share as a PNG because we need it to be transparent. And then hit save image. And now we're gonna add another clipping mask layer and we're gonna name it Penny. And now we're gonna import that image that we just saved. So I'm gonna go here and hit insert a photo Okay, and now that we already have it selected on its own layer, what we're gonna do now is at the bottom here, hit flip horizontal. And now we got a picture of Penny inside of this mirror. So now all we gotta do is adjust it to however we want. But we're not gonna change the size of it. So we're gonna keep it how it is so the reflection can be accurate. And her whole body's not gonna be shown unless you want it to be shown, but that will require you to have it to distort that picture, which we're not gonna mess with. So we're gonna leave it just like this, but all you gotta do is align it so that it looks right to you. Okay, so now, 
it's looking good how it is so I'm going to deselect it and if we need to change it again all we got to do is go to that layer and hit that arrow and just adjust it again okay so now on that layer all we got to do now is to double tap it like we did with the layer underneath it and reduce the opacity of it so that it blends in with the blue color and then make sure it's below the lines layer so that it goes with the line and if you need to you can go back and change the opacity of the line so that it's not really on top of penny inside of the mirror and now if you want on the penny layer we can go to this eraser tool and I'm going to select an airbrush and we can make the border of this mirror uh, into a white to make it look a little more nice but of course after you do that you can't move it anymore unless it looks something like this but that's definitely an option to you if you're okay with how you aligned it then that's up to you and if you can do it that way then cool but to me I don't really do that often so that's how you do a reflection tutorial in procreate here's my layer lineup one more time so you guys can see how I created this entire piece So if you liked the video, you found it useful, give it a like and a comment, subscribe if you haven't, and tap the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And I'll see you in my next video.